So we have to do something on guns. There is no question about it. We've had Republican intransigence from the NRA. They control the Republican Party, more or less. <clears throat> and on even things that 90% of Americans support, it's hard to get those support more than one or two Republican senators. And that's just a damn shame. You know, I am the author of the Brady Law. I passed it back in 1994 when I was in the House. Mm -hmm. I carried mm -hmm. the assault weapons ban. In those days, we would get some Republican support. We don't get any now. And so this is really, really just uh, uh, something that we have to keep fighting on. Chris Murphy's been the leader on guns in our caucus, and he believes he can make some progress working with Republicans on some of the issues. It's not going to be as much progress as people, um, as I would want or as you would want, but it's something. And we met overwhelmingly with the gun groups, and they said to us the same, if you can get something done, even if it's not everything, that's better than nothing. So over the last few days and in the next uh, four or five days, Murphy is sitting down. There are five Democrats, five Republicans sitting down and seeing if they can come up with something. If it's progress, uh, we'll put it on the floor and hope it gets the 60 votes. I think it'll probably get every Democratic vote, but we need 10 Republicans uh, to go forward. Uh, if they will not have progress, we'll put a bill on the floor just, you know, to make sure the public knows who's on what side, even though on this issue the public's clear and the Republicans have been clear. But one thing is for sure. We are going to keep fighting on this issue and fighting on this issue until we win. It is at the very, very top uh, of our list. It's where the American people are supportive. And what's so interesting is uh, that Republicans are running away from the issue back home, and our candidates are talking about it uh, openly. So I think it will be a major issue in addition to the votes we'll have on the floor in the 2022 elections.